right now. A lot of excitement. They keep cheering him every time he comes by, Mike. The car really looks good coming up off of uh, turn 11 there. Accelerating straight forward, not spinning the rear tires. Got, got it holding a pretty wheel right now. And Nadeau had a different route than most drivers to Winston Cup. He spent several seasons in Europe running open-wheel road race cars. Jerry Nadeau leads in Sonoma. Jerry Nadeau, the Danbury, Connecticut driver, without a full-time ride in Winston Cup. This is a one-off deal with the Pettys to run the road course here. Robbie Gordon came here last year, had an awesome display, should have won the race, but didn't get him. Got him a ride with Richard Children. This cat doesn't have a ride, 44. What do you think it might get him, Larry? I'd say it might give him a little driver contract. Well, he has, says he has a few things working, but they don't start till next season. This may accelerate his program quite a bit. He is leading with 13 laps to go. But fellas, I still think the car to beat is fifth place Ricky Rudd. He's passed Kurt Busch, and he's the furthest up in the order of the drivers who got four fresh tires on that last caution. Matt Yokens with his crew chief. And Mike, he just passed the 21 as Michael Fatback in the swing. Rudd's crew chief watches the 28 car come by the start finish. Fatback, he just climbed in the fourth. Do you have enough time and enough car? You certainly have the tires to get to the front. Yeah, I think the car's good enough. Ricky's good enough. Uh, they haven't made the right call on the last adjustment. Do we have enough laps? I don't know. Uh, we'll see how much faster he can run when he gets slow over track. They've been trying to break out of their bad luck streak. They built a brand new race car here. Ricky has five road course wins, but the last time he went to victory lane at a road course, August of 1990 at the Glen. Now, just moments ago at turn 11, 55 of Bobby Hamilton. He just locks it up. It's late in the race here, Larry. Your front brake pads are starting to wear down quite a bit. Get a little bit too much rear brake. Wheel hop a little, and around she goes. And, and Daryl, you know, Mike talked again in the show about me winning three races here. That's the, the scariest thing about a crew chief sitting on pit road. You, you're leading this race, and the laps are winding down. You see cars spinning and baiting on each other. In turn 11, it's like, you guys please stop? Put on your blinders. Ricky Rudd is pulled down on third place, Jeff Green, as Jerry Nidu crosses the line with 11 laps to go. Terry Labonte was 5.7 seconds back, now it's 5.8. Green and Rudd are catching Labonte for second place. Jeff Green has to be just ecstatic to be up there where he is. What a topsy-turvy day from start to finish. Drivers who started deep in the field up front. You know, just looking at Terry Labonte, he has not had a top five finish in 48 races. Wow. What a day this would be for him. Yep. Two-time Winston Cup champ. I think the only thing those cats are really going to sweat out is uh, will they run out, will they got enough fuel or not. I know they say they do. 40 laps is certainly way outside of what you told me, Larry. And we heard Michael Fatback McSwain say he wanted to see how fast his driver could run an open racetrack. 78-72 that time. Jeff, our leader, runs 79.83, and Rudd is only seven and a quarter seconds behind, so he's coming. He definitely is right now, Larry. But one thing I want to point out also about Jerry Nadeau's, Nadeau's ride here today, this is another one of those teams that made a swap as far as crew chiefs are concerned. Greg Stedman is now the crew chief, formerly of Kyle Petty, working on the 44 car. Another one of these teams that have moved a lot of personnel around, trying to jumpstart their operation, and right now it seems like it's paying off for the Petties. We just got 10 to go here as they go into the flag stand. And Rudd has gotten around Jeff Green and closing up on Terry Labonte. So it's Nadeau, Labonte, Rudd now in third. Green in fourth. Jeff Green by far having his best day on a road course. And you know, once Bill got that car, got the tires cleaned up and got going, he lost some track position there early on. He's maintained the seventh place. That maybe is not going to be too bad a call there. And with Rudd having to fight Jeff Green that time, he only ran like two tenths quicker than leader Jerry Nadeau with ten laps to go. About nine and a half laps to go now. And Elliot Sadler in sixth place for the Wood Brothers, who won nine Winston Cup road races. Elliot's having quite a day. Of course, Rudd's pulling up on Terry Labonte now for second place. We'll look at the interval right here. See with the Fox tracks. Ricky Rudd to our leader, Jerry Nadeau. Staying about the same here through the Estes, headed down toward turn 10. Pretty much staying the same, actually losing just a little bit. Let's see what happens maybe down at turn 11. I believe Rudd's kind of trying to set up the five car. He backed off a little early, trying to get a run at him down here in 11. Wasn't quite close enough. 
We talk about the big mo as momentum, but there's another mo, and that's motivation. Ricky Rudd could have won Richmond, probably should have won two of the last three races, but a mechanical problem and a cut tire have kept him out of victory lane. There's probably nobody hungrier right now for a win. Oh, man. Oh, man. Michael, is that you spun around there, bud? That's too bad. Michael was having a great run. He was up in the top 15, and I think we're going well. He's going to fall back to about 20 seconds. <laughs> he was 10. Jerry Nadeau, he, he needs Terry Labonte to race Ricky Rudd just as long as hard as he possibly can. You better believe Terry Labonte will, too. Oh, yeah. He's not going to pull over and let him go. That's a good indication right there that you're going to have to drive by me, bud. And it's hard to make any kind of pass up through these S's. Thinking thing he's going to have to do is follow him all the way down here to turn 11. Terry Labonte started racing as a child in quarter midgets. Ricky Rudd started racing in go-karts. And so right from the time they first strapped on a helmet, they were running road courses. A lot of experience right here. Now Ricky's falling back off the carry a little bit. Oh, oh, Joe Nemechek off the course. Of course, that's the car that Jerry Nadeau just uh, stepped out of just a few, few races ago. Second place, down into turn 11. Ricky on a little bit better tires, obviously, gets, a, gets the inside groove, and around he goes. Now he has open racetrack, but eight laps to go. And now as he comes by, he is 6.5 seconds behind Jerry Nadeau. Here's what happened to Joe Nemechek. Well, he and Harvey come down in here. Oh, they just hit, they just touch wheels. It's down in the turn seven. Harvick had the, had the inside line there. They touched wheels and shot go out into the dirt. Ricky Rudd has enough car. The question is, does he have enough time? He's got eight laps to knock down six and a half seconds and try to pass Jerry Nadeau. Yeah, and I think the thing that Nadeau's got to do is not let that, the 28 cars come. Just don't let that affect the way you're driving. Keep doing what you're doing. If he catches it, he catches it. Just to remember that Jerry Nadeau has 14 more laps on his tires than Ricky Rudd in second place right now. Big difference. Let's go to Terry Labonte's pit. Here's Dick Bertrand. And it's been a long time since Terry Labonte has had a top five, not since March of last year. Jim Long, his crew chief. Have you guys got enough gas? Has that car got enough hope to make a top five today? I think so. We're going to be real close. We'll go down to the last lap. And it, it's all track position this year, you know. Terry's doing a great job at Kellogg Chevrolet and Henry Motorsports. Um, it was a gamble, but it's worth taking. Right on gas, Mike. Good car number five. Thanks, Dick. That lap by, Ricky Rudd knocked half a second out of Jerry Nadeau's lead. At that pace, Rudd will not catch him. No, and the thing about this, he is in clear track, right? He doesn't have any traffic, so that's about as good as he can run. And that car, of course, behind Jerry Nadeau there, the 55 car, Bobby Hamilton, that's a car he'll have to encounter. Bobby's a lap down. That's almost the distance of that short shoot behind Nadeau right now. That's a long way. Bobby Labonte spun and fell from 10th to 19th. There is Rudd, and there through the S's is Nadeau. What both drivers got to do, Ricky has got I'm in second place. I can't make a mistake. Jerry Nadeau sitting up here leading the race definitely just needs to mind his manners and not make any mistakes. Hit got, your marks. Got to run time trial laps, Darrell. Just listen to him on the radio. They're going to tell you he's closing a little bit, but he isn't going to make it unless something happens. And I can see the 48 car slow down through the end of the The gap was 5.9 seconds last time by. Nadeau, six to go across the stripe. Here comes Rudd, 5.4. Another half, half a second. second. But he may run out of time. Something happened to the 48 car. So he slowed down through the S's and he's uh, slowed down. What happened, Dick? Transmission. One word. Transmission. So Jimmy Johnson's going to try to limp home six more laps. So that means all top three boys in the point, all top three drivers have had problems here today. Sterling Marlin, Jeff Gordon, and now Jimmy Johnson. Jeff Gordon is running, but seven laps down in 37th place. Johnson's car will never make it all the way around again, I don't think. Going so slow, they'll, they'll black flag it. So points as of right now, Sterling Marlin, because 
Johnson and Gordon have both had trouble. Mark Martin would move up to third, and Tony Stewart and the top five. Mark, Sterling Marlin just can't lose the point lead. It doesn't matter what he does, he right. can't lose it. He's living large, that's for sure. It'll be five laps to go this time as Brett Bodine goes off course. The Hooter Sport. Everybody's getting anxious now. Five laps to go. They're stepping the aggressive meter up just a little bit. Your brakes are worn out for the most part. You've been using a lot of brake. Transmissions are not quite as good as they were early in the day, and your tires are gone. We'll show you Brett Bodine's spin. As from 5.4, Jerry Nadeau's line, has, or lead has now gone to 4.9 seconds. But he only chopped four tenths of a second that time, and that's not going to do it with five laps to go. Five laps to go, five seconds. Separates rideless driver Jerry Nadeau in a one-off for the Petties here at Sonoma. It almost reminds me of when Ron Fellows almost won Watkins Glen a couple, three years ago there, and a late caution kept him from winning that race. But uh, right now, things are looking really, really good for Jerry Nadeau. And toward turn 10, Jimmy Johnson's trying to crawl his way to pit road, and it looks like he'll make it. But I tell you, he, Jerry Nadeau's going to catch him, I believe, before he gets to pit road. He just hopes to catch him in the right place and uh, don't have to hold him up any. Johnson's car slow on the outside of turn 10. That's the waving yellow just at that yeah. section. Really not a good place for a Whoa. Michael Walter. Again, Michael's big adventure continues. Boy, I don't know. It just when I see that happen over and over again late at the race, hey Jimmy it, Spencer. It usually breaks. You've just worn your brakes out at this point in the race and you're just hanging on. Across the line goes Nadu. Four laps to go. Here comes Rudd. Another half a second. I'm surprised it wasn't more because that uh, 48 car was definitely right in the line for Nadu when he come around turn Absolutely. 10. Absolutely, but only four and a half seconds now. Here's what happened to Michael Walter at turn four. See, it's just very, it, it, you're locking up the rear wheels and, and wheel hopping because your front brake pads are worn out. You're on old tires, the crew chief's saying three to go, four to go, five to go, we gotta go. Twenty-nine cars still on the lead lap. Jerry Nadu. Now, I, just, I, I know of I know of all of us. How many people here you think pick Jerry Nadu to win the race today? Telling him he's, they're telling him he still has a four and a half second lead. As you say, Daryl, just to hit his marks. That's it. Just stay on the track, buddy. But you know, Mike, we talked to Robin Pemberton last night out about the swimming pool, and he said they hit on something with this race car yesterday, and he was pretty fast in practice. His wife, Jada, is here, met her dad down in the garage area earlier today. This is the third different team that Nadu has driven for this year. He started off with Hendrick in the 25. He substituted for an injured Johnny Benson in the number 10 Pontiac, and now for the Petties, cut a big key run. Is cut cut a the laps were almost the same that time. Boy, it, it, he did not really gain anything on it. It looked closer. <laughs> when, when Nadu went by, I looked back, and here come, uh, here come Ricky Rudd. It looked pretty close. Three laps to go. Nadu started 22nd. Nobody in the modern era has won on a road course starting deeper than 18th. But what I like about his car, Mike, the, Larry, the car is not out of control. It's not like he's overdriving it. It's not. The thing is still handling really, really good. It's accelerating well. It's turning well. And there's the interval. You see how Ricky Rudd has knocked down that lead. I heard somebody, I don't know whose radio transmission that was, about somebody, somebody was blowing up. I just remember.